A research proposal is simply a structured and formal document that explains what you plan to research, why it's worth researching, and how you plan to investigate it. The purpose of the research proposal is to convince your research supervisor, committee, or university that your research is suitable and manageable. The most important word here is convince. In other words, your research proposal needs to sell your research idea. If it doesn't convince them, you'll need to revise and resubmit. This will cost you valuable time, which will either delay the start of your research or eat into its time allowance, which is bad news. A research proposal is a formal document that explains what you plan to research, why it's worth researching, and how you'll do it. During the proposal stage, students should discuss their research interests, identify a research topic, conduct preliminary literature review, and develop project proposal. The proposal should discuss problem statement, objectives, research methodology, research activities, and a time schedule in about 3 to 5 pages. Let's discuss the different part of a research proposal and how to do it step by step. First, you must have a very good title. Provide a brief and meaningful title to your project. This is the backbone of your research study. After that, here comes the background or rationale. Background or introduction section provides a description of the basic facts and importance of the research area. What is your research area? The motivation of the research? And how important is it for the industry practice advancement? Second, the statement of the problem. Problem statement provides a clear and concise description of the issues that need to be addressed. What is the specific problem in that research area that you will address? Example, lack of understanding of a subject, low performance, and others. Objectives Objectives provide a list of goals that will be achieved through the proposed research. What are the benefits or impact? Example, better understanding, improved productivity, that will be generated if the research problem is answered. Fourth, we have the Preliminary Literature Review. Preliminary Literature Review provides a summary of previous related research on the research problem and their strengths and weakness and a justification of your research. What is known or what have been done by others and why your research is still necessary. Fifth, we have the research methodology. Research methodology defines the research methods and logic steps, what to do and how to solve the problem and achieve proposed objectives. Which research methods, example, survey, modeling, or case study will be used. Attach a project schedule table if necessary. And we have the plan of work and time schedule. You should include an outline of the various stages and corresponding timelines for developing and implementing the research, including writing up your thesis. And the last one, we have the references. All factual material that is not original with you must be accompanied by a reference to its source. Please use the guidelines on reference and citation style given by your institution. And there you have it. Now, you will have the courage to face the reality of writing research projects. Have fun and work efficiently.